Well, as I said earlier, as we officially head into spring, which arrives next Tuesday at 11.06 p.m., you can see the potential of way below normal temperatures here in the eastern part of the United States. You'll notice here in the Carolinas, we're looking at at least 30 to 50 percent chance of having below normal temperatures most of next week going into the week after that, while all the warmth is out into the west. So uh, just in time for us to hit officially spring. It's going to feel more like winter time. We'll take a look at those temperatures in a little bit. Not today, though. We're looking at well above average temperatures. Average should be into the 60s. And we're talking just shy of that 80 degree mark, at least 10 to almost 15 degrees above average for this time of year. Live look outside Pineal Shores, the uh, wind jammer in cam. We've seen quite a few people walking along the beach here this afternoon. Now keep in mind, it's that time of year. Water temperatures are only into the upper 50s, so the air adjacent to that cold Colder water is only going to be able to get so warm, so we'll probably be about five to ten degrees colder at the coastal areas than what we're seeing inland. That's exactly what we're seeing. 70 in Kinston, 73 in Jacksonville, 64 in Beaufort, 63 coming in in Hatteras. Inland spots, mid to upper 70s for us today, mid to upper 60s along the coast, light southwesterly breeze. Back down into the 40s again overnight tonight with clear skies and light winds. The real warm up comes tomorrow, though, as we're going to be pushing towards that 80 degree mark. Most of the action is out in the Rockies, but it's this energy out here that's going to generate a storm in the central plains, and that will eventually start to work its way eastbound. But until it gets here, we've got this high pressure large and in charge sliding off the southeast coast. Get those southwesterly winds going for us here. It looks like we'll watch the clouds increase for the afternoon hours on Friday. Maybe some light showers in here near or after dark as a wave of low pressure drives off the coast. That's going to take that front to the south. That'll allow us to step those temperatures down a little bit on Saturday, but I still think under variably cloudy skies, we're going to remain dry. Then a wave of low pressure comes back up along that front. Could see some showers in here on the second half of Sunday. And like I said, just in time for spring to arrive here on Tuesday, it's going to feel a lot more like January as opposed to spring weather. But it looks like a short, sharp cold shot as we warm up after that.